I'm Safin Tia. This is a very introductory step course for beginners. 4.7 F table and constat test. 1A ANOVA 7. In the previous video, we have learned how to calculate the F value. And now you know and understand these numbers in the ANOVA result table. If you can't understand these numbers, you have to go back to the previous video and check the how to calculate F value. Shortly speaking, um, the number 5.127, this number is the uh, SS between. And uh, this 5 point something is divided by DF1 is 2 equals 2.564. This number is a uh, between variance. Sometimes we call it MS between. And then the number 1.757 is divided by the F27 is 0 0.251 is within variance or MS within, right? And finally, the F value is a ratio of between two within variance. So the number is um, 2.564 divided by 0 0.251 equal 10.216. This number is F value. And then any software, any stat software can show the number of p-value. Here, the p-value is 0 0.008, and it means that significant, right? If you want to check the p-value by yourself, you can use the fdist function in Excel. And here, you need the three values. First one is f-value, 10.216. The f1 is 2, and the f2 is 7, right? So you can check the p-value from the Excel. But, as I said, in z-test, there is a g-table. In t-test, there is a t-table. Likewise, in f-test, f-test is ANOVA. In f-test, there is a f-table. This is the f-table. And in f-test, we have two degree of freedom, like the DF1 was 2, DF2 was 7. So, in the F table, we have two degree of freedom. DF1, so these numbers are DF1, DF2. So, these numbers are DF2, right? And our first degree of freedom, DF1 was 2 here, and second one, DF2 was 7. So our numbers are here. And then our constant is a 5% p value. So here our number is 4.74. But what is this? This number is critical value. It's the same as in the t-table. There are so many p-values, so this table cannot show us the p-value. Instead of the p-value, the t-table and f-tables just give us the critical value for pi 5% here, right? Let's check our um, result. In this case, our F value is 10.216 and the critical value is 4.74. So our F value is much, much larger than critical value. It means that our F value is much, much larger than critical value. It means that our P value is also much, much, much smaller than 5%. As you can see here, the number is 0 0.008. Why? Let's check the 
F distribution. This is the F distribution. And the critical value 4.74 is here. And our P value is the size of this area, right? And our P value is 10 point something. So 9, 10, and maybe our P value will be no this no 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 this size of area maybe right let's change the color yeah right it means that our p value is very small and uh, is much smaller than five percent is zero zero Eight, so in, it is uh, maybe 0.8%, right? But here we have to ask a question. What is the meaning of the significance in ANOVA? Let's get back to the statistical hypothesis. The null hypothesis was mu1, mu2, and mu k, all mu's are same. Here the case number of groups. And uh, in the alternative hypothesis, any mu's, any mu's are not equal. It means that at least, at least, one group is different. In other words, it means that not all mu's are equal. So, from the result of ANOVA, F value, we just know that we simply know at least, at least, one of them, one of the three groups, is significantly different from others. But which group and how are they different? We don't know. Let's check the descriptive statistics. These are the um, mean value of three groups. First one is uh, medicine A, second is maybe medicine B, final one is a placebo. As you can see here, placebo group's mean value is higher than the first two. But this is just our guess. It is not a statistical test. So, at this point, we need a post hoc test. From the 1A and the bar result, we don't know which group is different from other groups. So, after a significant result of ANOVA, we have to check the post hoc test. What is the post hoc test? It's a kind of a multiple t-test, but it does not make a type 1 error. No problem. We can compare group means one by one. And there are many types of postdoc tests. Fisher's LSD, Von Ferroni, Schaffer, Turkey, Duncan. All the statisticians' name. In general, there is no difference among them. Just in general. Mm -hmm. This is a result of postdoc test. As you can see here, from the first law, we compare first and second group, medicine A and medicine B. Medicine A versus medicine B. And the T value is uh, 0 0.131. And the P value of Turkey, P value of Shafe, P value of Bonferroni, all three are uh, representative uh, post hoc tests in ANOVA. And uh, all three P values are not significant. So it means that the two groups are equal. Right, and uh, in the second law, we compare first and third group medicine A versus placebo. The T value is minus 3.749, and all three P values are significant. It means that these two groups are not equal. Finally, in third law, uh, we compare medicine B versus placebo and the p values are all significant it means that these two are not equal let's check the graph it is very uh, helpful to understand the situation as you can see here 
The first and second group looks very similar. These two are statistically same. But 1 and 3, not equal. 2 and 3, not equal. What does it mean that? It means that the placebo needs longer days until patients are completely recovered. In other words, it means that the medicine A and B are effective, but these two are same. There is no difference between the medicine A and B, right? That is our result from the post hoc test. Okay, we are done here. Um, 4.7, F-table and post hoc test. One way and about sevens. See you next time. Thank you.